Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the uh, Central Maine Outdoorsman. If you're new to the channel, what we're going to be doing in this channel is, uh, you know, as well as outdoor activities, recreation activities, um, we're building our cabin from scratch. Uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us and we're showing everybody the process of what we're going to be doing and um, how it's getting done. Uh, and along that process, uh, we got little uh, surprises here and there. We got a, a new pup here. Uh, it's not mine, it's my parents, but uh, she's a good dog and actually I think she's she's going to the bathroom, so we're not going to show you that right now. Where'd you go? Huh? Where'd you go? Running around with Coda, huh? Exploring? You exploring? Yeah? And there she is, playing with Coda. Or driving Coda nuts. <laughs> One or the other. Nah, Coda's loving it, she's having fun. This is the uh, first uh, weekend with Coda. Yep, this is Liberty. She's a eight week old, yellow lab. She's a bundle of energy and she's cute as a button. Um, she's gonna get back to driving Coda crazy and uh, playing with her. Easy Coda, you're gonna hurt her. Jeez. Look at this dog. Coda, come on, be nice. Well, anyway, we're gonna let them play. Uh, we got some uh, sewing to do. We're going to sew a whole bunch in this video. I'll show you uh, our progress at the end. This mill is uh, set up for uh, cutting 18 foot boards. But what we, what we gotta do to get that 18 feet is we gotta go close to this blade. Otherwise we get uh, short boards. We'll be able to cut all the way through it. Uh, so we gotta make sure we're close to the, uh, the bandsaw blade here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna struggle and we're gonna slide it over. All right. 
black flies are coming out. So that means we got to uh, put our nets on. Usually it takes them a little while. I guess once the temperatures warm up, they're out and about and trying to eat us alive. Ready, one, two. Oh, how are we looking there? I don't know. The tiny, tiny bit. How, how, many you got, how much you got over there? Itch. That's probably good. Let's go a little bit more. Ready? Yep. Oh, Too much? Good? Perfect. This one's gonna need some brushing. It's not too bad down here, but over here, pretty dirty. If I haven't explained myself, uh Brushing off the logs with the uh, wire brush removes all the dirt and uh, helps preserve the uh, the blade. The dirt will dull the blade on the uh, bandsaw pretty quick. So that's why we do that. All right, let's see what we get out of this bad boy. Look what we got. I'll tell you what, the spruce was amazing. It was uh, just a perfect, perfect piece of, uh, I want to say lumber, but it's actually a perfect log that made perfect lumber. I mean, that stuff's nice. There's no knots in it. Straight as an arrow. Other than it's sagging right now because we have it laying on the ground, but we're going to move it and uh, sticker it soon. There we go. We got six more roof rafters out of that one log. Uh, never mind. We get a never mind. We get a couple of uh, one-inch pieces. Uh, quite the pile here, but uh, we'll clean it up and uh, we'll we'll get one-inch boards out of these things instead of throwing them away. Uh, it's a little time-consuming. That's why we're putting them off to the side. We're just getting done what we can, and then one day we'll just do scrap wood. But for today, we're doing roof rafters. Yeah. Thanks for watching uh, the process and how uh, we turn a tree into lumber uh, that's the quickest way we could show you do a time-lapse video of the uh, log getting sewed up and uh, we're gonna sticker this and uh, let it dry but uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna fend off these flies keep on working see you later <laughs>